Hello everyone, welcome once again to Words Made Easy. My name is Dr. Beston Muila, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most interesting things, how to dilute and administer magnesium sulfate. I know most of you have had a challenge with this, but um, we'll talk about that very quickly and you'll know exactly what to do. If you want to see my videos, if you want more content, if you don't want to miss out anything, please subscribe like the button like the video and share with your friends okay so with that being said let's begin so magnesium sulfate this is a calcium channel blocker a drug that we give to prevent seizures so it's given in patients that come in with severe preeclampsia because we know these patients have got a high risk they're at a high risk of developing eclampsia okay which is seizures that they may develop okay so we give this particular drug so how do we administer magnesium sulfate so magnesium sulfate we use i'm going to be talking about the Pritchard's regimen so we use the Pritchard's regimen okay especially at our facility we use the Pritchard's regimen so uh, this is where we administer magnesium sulfate into two, we divide it into two, um, uh, two dosage, doses. So that is going to be the loading dose and the maintenance dose. So we administer magnesium into the loading dose and the maintenance dose. So the loading dose, we give 14 grams of magnesium sulfate. So how do we give this 14 grams of magnesium sulfate as the loading dose? So the 14 grams of magnesium sulfate, this 14 grams of magnesium sulfate, we give it in two, um, we give it as, as follows. So we give two grams, we give, um, sorry, we give four grams. We give four grams of 20% magnesium sulfate IV slowly. So this is one of the loading dose, we give four grams of 20% magnesium sulfate IV slowly and then the other remaining 10 grams we give it as five grams of 50 percent magnesium sulfate which we are going to be giving on alternate buttocks so we give five grams im injection on one buttock one buttock with lignocaine of course because that is going to be very painful okay and then the other five gram on the other buttock making it 14 grams as a total loading dose then the maintenance dose we give five grams of magnesium sulfate four hourly every after four hours. So every after four hours, you give five grams of magnesium sulfate, which are going to be administering as uh, IM doses on alternate buttocks. So when you, if you inject on the right buttock, you indicate your time. After four hours, you come again, you administer on the other buttock. Don't forget you are supposed to administer with lignocaine because it's Painful. So this is five grams of 50%. So now my main interest is to show you how we are going to dilute the magnesium sulfate. How do we dilute it? Okay, so that we are able to administer this 20% magnesium sulfate. Okay, how do we do that? So that we are able to administer the 20% magnesium. So how do we do that? How do we administer now? How do we dilute? Because you know. Um, a vial of magnesium sulfate, the one that we usually have, uh, comes as um, 10 mules, okay? It comes a, a vial of 10 mules. Now, this 10 mules, when you look at it, this vial uh, of 10 mules, okay, magnesium sulfate, it contains 5 grams of 50%, 50% magnesium sulfate. So, this in 10 mules, you have five grams of 50% magnesium sulfate. Now we need to know how are we going to dilute so that we give 20% magnesium sulfate IV because we can't give 50% of magnesium sulfate IV. We're killing the patient, right? So we want to dilute to drop the concentration to 20%. So how are we going to do that? So first things first, okay? Remember, we want to give four grams. What do we want to give? We want to give four grams of 20% magnesium sulfate 
IV, always remember this, we want to give 4 grams of 20%. But what we have is 5 grams of 50% in 10 mils. So first step is how many, how many mils are we going to, to, to draw from this vial of magnesium sulfate? How do we know that? It's simple mathematics, right? So you just say if, if uh, 5 grams, okay, if this 5 grams is in 10 mils, okay, if the 10 mils that we have, contains five grams so for us to get to be able to get four grams how many meals should we get that's simple mathematics okay so when you do your cross multiplication you find that this is going to give you four by ten it will give you 40 and you divide that by five okay and this is going to give you eight meals which means that you need to get eight meals from this 10 meals valve so you get a syringe you draw eight mils from here, and that is going to give you, meaning that eight mils contains four grams of magnesium sulfate. But then, this eight mils contains four grams of what? Of 20, of 50%, of 50% magnesium sulfate. But we, what we want to give is four grams of 20% magnesium sulfate. So how do we arrive at that? Okay, how do we arrive at that? Okay, so now, Remember, what we have now, we have, wh where we are now is we have eight mils, okay, eight mils, okay, we've drawn eight mils. When we, we draw eight mils, we're saying it's going to, this is giving us how much? Four grams. But this four grams is of 50% magnesium sulfate. So how do we drop the concentration to 20%? Okay, so there's a, there's a good formula that we use. There's a simple formula that we use where we say um, available concentration divided by desired concentration, okay, minus one. So this is what is going to give, this is, this is the formula that we're going to use. So what is our available concentration? It's 50%, okay. So available concentration is 50% divided by, what is our desired concentration? Our desired concentration is the 20% because we want to drop the 50 to 20. So we say 50% over 20% minus 1. So what is 20 into this and this go? This is going to give us 2.5, right? It's going to give us, this is going to be equal to 2.5 minus 1. Okay, 2.5 minus 1. So subtract um, 1 from 2.5, it will give you 1.5. Okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? So this means that this 1.5 is what you are going to be using. So it means that for every gram of magnesium sulfate, you need to add 1.5, okay, mils of water for injection to drop the concentration from 50% to 20%. That is what it means. So for every one gram of magnesium sulfate that you need, you need to do what? You need to add 1.5 mils of water for injection, which means when you add this 1.5, it means you've dropped that concentration from 50% to 20%. Okay, so let's see how that is going to look. So, so how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? It means that, look at this. Uh, what we have is, um, what we have is, um, is, is, is this. So we have eight mils, okay? The eight mils that we have has, okay, our four grams, okay? This eight mils has our four grams. So how are we going to, how much water for injection then do we need to add to these eight mils for it to drop to 20%? Because this is of 50%, if you remember. This is of 50%. So what we'll do is, very simple, we'll just say, since this eight mils has four grams, so we can say, we need to dilute this eight mils, right? So this is like eight, okay, multiplied by 1.5. So eight multiplied by 1.5 is going to give us what? Eight multiplied by 1.5 gives us 12. So it gives us 12 mils. So what does this mean? It means that we need to get 12 mils of water for injection. 
and add it to this eight mils, okay? And add it to this eight mils. That's when we're going to come up with, to end up with a 20% concentration. So when you get this 12 mils of water, you add to these eight mils, then you, you have um, 20%, okay? Which means withdraw 12 mils of, withdraw 12 mils of uh, water for injection, and add it to the eight mules, okay? Add it to the eight mules that you have. And therefore, you are going to have um, four grams. You end up with four grams of 20% magnesium sulfate. And this is what you want to give. This is what you want to give, okay? So this, just a correction. The 1.5 simply means for every one mule here, for every one mule, okay which is um from from this equation that we found so for every meal okay for every meal okay um you need to dilute it with 1.5 okay you need to dilute it with 1.5 mils of water for injection to drop the concentration in this to 20 percent that's why we're getting this we multiply it by 1.5 because we have eight mils multiplied by 1.5 it gives us 12 mils so this is the 12 mils that we're supposed to add to the eight mules so that we drop the concentration from 50% to 20%. And this is what we want to give. Uh, this is what we want to give to the patient as what? Uh, as IV, okay? Just a quick one. When do you stop administering magnesium sulfate? When do you stop administering? So you are going to be giving this magnesium sulfate. So if given your loading dose, the, uh, the IM doses, that is five grams, of 50% magnesium sulfate. Our valve comes as 50%, so there's no need to dilute that one. So you just drop and give the five grams because it's already five grams in 50%. So you just withdraw, you just, you just withdraw, put in your syringe and inject, okay? And inject. Even your, uh, even your, your other doses, the maintenance doses, it's 50% already. So you, there's no need for you to dilute that one. Okay, so you only dilute what you're going to give IV. So if the patient, as you are giving the, as you are giving the, the, main, the maintenance doses, if the patient fits again before the, before the time for you to administer another, another dose, okay, you can give two grams of 20% magnesium sulfate IV, which means that also is given IV, which means you have to calculate that. Also, you have to dilute it like that and give it IV. When do you stop administration of magnesium sulfate? You stop administration of magnesium sulfate if um uh, if it's 24 hours okay if it's 24 hours from the last fit or 24 hours from the time of delivery whichever happens last okay so if this if 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 it's been 24 hours from the time the patient delivered they, 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 it's it's 24 hours they haven't had any fit you can stop the magnesium sulfate okay and if it's 24 hours after they had the last fit you can stop magnesium sulfate so you follow what happens last what do you monitor? Make sure before you administer magnesium sulfate, monitor the three important things. Deep tendon reflexes, make sure they are present. Make sure your urine output is okay, okay? Above 0.5 uh, mils per kg per hour and make sure the patient's respiratory rate uh, is not depressed because magnesium sulfate can cause respiratory depression. And make sure your respiratory rate of this patient is greater than or equal to 12 breaths per minute, okay? If you want more content like this, please do subscribe to my channel, share this video, and like for more content like this. This is awesome. Guys, this is awesome. Like, hit the like button, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any interesting content. We'll be doing this very oftenly. We're going to be calculating a lot of drugs on how to administer them. And then uh, if you don't want to miss out on that, you need to subscribe and like the hit and hit the like button. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Beston Wheeler. Words made easy. Until next time, God bless you.